Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel and this is a quick video to talk about battery life uh, especially um, specific questions that have been coming about battery life in different versions of Windows 10. So I have somebody that says that he's um, actually been moving on to every version of Windows 10 and now he's on the May 2019 update and he says that he has the impression that the battery life isn't as good. There's one thing here that you got to be careful in battery life measurements. The battery of your device actually will degrade over time. So that means if you've been using the same PC on your um, different versions of Windows for a couple of years, the battery life of your PC now isn't the same that it was two years ago your battery has degraded. So be careful to measure this with um, you know, new batteries. And if I look at my Toshiba um, laptop, which is the one that I used for five years, I typically buy a new battery roughly once every two years to replace or, you know, and I often have several batteries so that I can have a long time of usage on battery if I need to. So, I've been able to kind of test that out with a couple of batteries that I have are, that are pretty new. And what I get is that when I purchased that machine, which was on Windows 8.1 at the time, it gave me roughly three hours of battery life. If I compare that with a new battery today, I get roughly three hours of battery life. What that means is that it doesn't seem like the newer versions of Windows 10 actually are battery hogs or use more battery than the previous versions. Now Microsoft says that it's on the other side. It's, uh, you know, uh, battery life is actually better apparently in the May 2019 update. But you know what? It's very difficult to measure that. And I would probably say it's kind of the same. Now, if you do have battery issues, remember, like I said, that your battery gets older with age. So that kind of is a little normal but you can of course check out the battery information in your settings and check out um, you know which apps are affecting your battery life so if you're on the May 2019 update you can go into the system and uh, look in the settings and system and look at battery the battery is um, you know will tell you how much charge you have and if you use it on battery well what you do is when you click see what apps are affecting battery life it's going to actually show you which apps might be actually uh, hogging your battery. It takes a little while for it to compile out of this, but how much of the battery is used by what app, and you can uh, check it out for a time period of 24 hours. The best is to uh, you know at, choose at least a week, because if you use it every day, you'll have a better um, understanding of what used the battery the most on your computer. So here you see my usage. I do a lot of remote desktop connections using battery. And you see that that is really 43% of all the battery use that I had. Microsoft Edge, which surprises me here at 34%, which is kind of interesting, uh, especially in the past week, which is, I know I'm on the web all the time, but it is kind of surprising to see that. And of course, the other apps, because I don't use these apps a lot, uh, like Google Chrome and so on. But it's interesting to compare all of this. And as you use your PC, you'll be able to see which apps might be actually the, the problem if your battery doesn't last as much as uh, you can. And uh, we'll show you some options for battery saving options in Windows 10 May 2019 update also in uh, the next video. So verdict, um, no, battery life is pretty much unchanged for the past versions of Windows 10. So you should have the same performance. Remember also that you might have added more software and have new uh, drivers for different uh, devices on your PC that will change the battery life uh, expectancy for sure. Uh, so it's very, like I said, it's a very, very difficult thing to test out correctly because, um, you know, things change over time and the battery, of course, gets older also. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching our videos.